bit of early space junk, but they work really well actually. Automatic access gates, colour-coded areas. We also want to deliver excellent customer service. There's no reason why we shouldn't be friendly, helpful, uh, polite, smiling. is all part of the process, but behind that is a steely determination to keep you safe. Spring, and eight months in, progress is being made on the new security area. Only this morning we've started using one of the new escalators, so there are going to be new escalators all along here to bring people up to the security area, lifts as well. This is the new entrance, which is starting to be opened up, and we'll go and have a look at see how they're getting on building the new area. Jeff wants Gatwick to become the safest airport in the world. Uh, see if we can get in here. He appears to have succeeded. Oh. Good security. If I'm at the right door. Hello, are okay. you expecting me? Sorry? You're you expecting me? I'm Jeff Williams, head of security. Right, OK. Um, I'm afraid your name isn't here on the list. Ah, if your name's not on the list, you're not coming in. Yeah, that's what I've been instructed, I'm afraid. What's your first name, sorry? It's Jeff Williams, it's on the badge there. Hiya, is that, is that Matt? Hi, it's Mitch. Um, I've got a gentleman here called Jeff Williams. He's uh, head of security, but his, uh, his name is on the list. Um, Even whilst it's a building site, you know, it's not open yeah. for security areas yet, but it's absolutely right they check before anybody's allowed in. Yeah. Yeah. I just got to give uh, another, another yeah, guy... Yeah, it's fine. Call, if you can bear with yeah, me moment, no problem. So OK, it's all right. Today, Jeff is experiencing for himself what it's like to be kept waiting at security. Are we OK? Sorry about that. Thank you. It's all right. No, you're doing your job. Thank you very much. Right. Yeah, we'll sign in. Yeah. Thank you. After a ten-minute wait, Jeff's finally let in. With just three weeks to go before the start of the summer season, there's still a lot to do. It's a lot better than it was before as a building site. I think it was like a big car park before. But it's amazing the work's been done in just a couple of months. Once people are, are ready to go through security, uh, the screens here will show them how to use our new automated gates. It's a bit like being on the, on the underground. People used to put in their Oyster card and, and cards in. It's up to Jeff to put an end to queues. All eyes are on him. There isn't much change out of £45 million building this area. You know, we want to compete with every airport head on, and this is part of it. Picture right as far as you can go, please. Thank, Thank you. Ladies and gents, when you join in, you just Passenger you screening is a highly effective weapon in the campaign against terrorism. In the North Terminal, community support police officers Alexis Harden and Tracy Smythe are out with the airport sniffer dogs on the hunt for explosives. Single file, hello. Single file, thank you. Sir, can you keep to your right hand side as far as you can go? Thank you very much. Can I ask what a flight you've just come off? Dubai. Dubai, thank you very much. Obviously, we take note of the um, flights that we cover so the dog unit can actually put it down at the, at what the, like the tasking that they do. As a test, one passenger's bag has been planted with explosives residue. And obviously you could see that the dog was indicating that the person was carrying explosives, so this is how we train the dogs. Charlie <laughs> passes with flying colours, but it's not his only trick. This one here actually talks. And if you say Arsenal, he tends to bark. He's not going to do it now. Charlie, Arsenal. <coughs> there you go. <laughs> Charlie, Charlie, are you beautiful? <laughs> Gets a yes. <laughs> While some officers are on the lookout for terrorists, Sergeant Darren Taylor is on the search for a very different criminal. You're going to tell them, Chris, they want to bring the passports over here and I'll do a check while they're dealing with them. Over 2,000 football fans are on their way to Copenhagen to see England play Denmark in a friendly. 
And have you got tickets for the match in Copenhagen? Yeah, do you want to see it? Next on. A large-scale operation is in progress to stop football hooligans from travelling to the match. Yeah. I've already been drinking. They're all going to Copenhagen, the practice site scene. Right. Um, he is known, racially aggravated, to GBH. Spot checks are being carried out at the departure gate before supporters board the flight. Yeah, it's fine, it's fine. It's been running through his passport scanners. Yeah, no worries. Some fans are supportive of what the police are doing. Well, <laughs> yeah. if the police do the checks like this, if you've done nothing wrong, you've got nothing to worry about. If you're an honest football fan, if you're a football thug, then obviously the police are here to do their job. But others are critical of police methods. Just treated suspicious, no, aren't you? Yeah. And then you see everyone. We, we, I mean, we got stopped as soon as we came through just to check our details and stuff like that, and everyone's just staring at you, thinking you've done something wrong. Sir, you don't count swearing as next to that way, all right? Swearing is not acceptable in the airport. If you don't know, hang on a second. Hello, we've just stopped the gentleman who wasn't too um, happy about being stopped. Well, what we're looking for is certain individuals, and some wear club colours, some wear normal clothing. So it all depends. I'm not even looking out for football people. We've stopped people before that may be looking suspicious. We've got people wanted for burglary. We've done the checks and, um, and they've been arrested. 255 games and he's still checking my up. There's only two and a half thousand official supporters going, so to me it's a bit OTT. It's just ridiculous. Alongside Heathrow, Gatwick is one of the most heavily policed establishments in the UK. The airport is set to increase passenger numbers and is beefing up security to cope. Cockpit's clear, okay. They are police. If you're in this airplane, you need to show yourself now. And that's cramped. We move slowly. Spring and 12 recruits are training to join the exclusive firearms department. Like Ahmed Yapajurs, they're all experienced police officers. But handling live firearms is a whole new ball game. It's a lot of information to take on board. Uh, say a lot of hardware to be contending with. You're wandering around with guns strapped to you. It's a lot. It's a lot to take on for anybody. It is just physically, mentally draining. All police. What? All police stand still. But it's not just terrorism that's on the agenda. I don't want to speak to you. Shut your face. You, sweetheart, talk Today, officers are faced with a violent member fight. of the public, played for effect by one of the trainers. Sorry? Put your hands on your head! Who the f are you? What do you want? Oh, all right, all right. All right. All right. What? I'm arresting your suspicion of armed robbery. You've got to be joking. I've come around here with a piss. Jesus Christ. What Every scenario that an officer might face at Gatwick is tried and tested. Taser, taser, taser! Ahmed and his fellow trainees are under no illusion that one day these scenarios could be for real. Police have been sent to deal with your in possession of Taser. Put the, put the weapon down. It's a highly responsible position. Um, you have got weapons on you that, that if you don't know how to handle it, if you don't know how to use it properly, it, it could end catastrophically either for you, your, your colleagues, or uh, members of the public. It's May, the start of Gatwick's high season. And Jeff Williams is struggling to contain his excitement. Hello, sir. Welcome. Do you need any help? It's, it's completely new. Yes, completely new. It's the first day his new £45 million security area is open to the public. You can use the bench here, free plastic bag as well, just for you. Oh, got these specially. Jeff's hoping the high-tech automated service will see an end to passenger queues. To use this area, okay. brand new, it's all brand new, £45 million pounds we spent just for you. I mean, it probably sounds a bit odd to be proud of a security area, but the end product, I think, is absolutely brilliant. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Nice to see you. Have a good trip. OK, bye. But Jeff needs to impress one very special visitor today, Adebayo Ogunlesi is chairman of the Anglo-American investment company that owns Gatwick. I think you should be pretty proud of this. Yeah. Great achievement. 
He's flown over from New York especially to see the new operation. Hi, sir. Jeff Williams. Nice to meet you. We'll see you. Hello, sir. So, you'll have heard a lot about this project, indeed, I'm sure. Indeed, indeed. Our showcase project. Indeed. World class. Yep. Wasn't even on the drawing board when you took over. Yep. So, the passengers will come in here. Yep. At preparation areas. Take as much time as you like preparing yep. before you come through to the new e pass gates. Right. The screens here show people how to use them. Put their boarding card on here. All right. Look up to the camera. Few seconds, they go straight through. What, what kind of reaction have you gotten from the passengers so far? Very good, actually. Yeah. And the things they say is it's quick, it's efficient, it's clean. Nobody else in the world is using the technology in this way. Perfect. Thank you. Okay. Jeff, thank, thank you. you. It's it's terrific. Right. When we'll you're see. done with this, come to New York and fix ten of them. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <Pleasure>. <laughs> yeah. Don't rush doing that, Jeff. <laughs> thank you, Jeff. Cheers. Twelve trainee firearms officers are vying to join Gatwick's elite armed police force. Today sees the culmination of seven weeks of training. They've been called in to investigate two men acting suspiciously in Woodland near Gatwick's runway. It's expected that a third of students won't pass. Trainees are only permitted to take the course twice. For 44-year-old Ahmet Yapajurs, who's previously failed, there's much at stake. The last three and a half weeks have all been the uh, tactics phase, which uh, is, is probably the most hardest part of, of the course itself. So I've been there before, done it before, but um, it's still hard. On arrival, the trainees discover the suspect's car, but it's been abandoned. As Ahmed approaches it, the squad are caught off guard. Let's get moving, move out, move out, move out. Loaded with three stone of kit and weaponry, the trainees hunt down the suspects with the help of tracker dogs. I think, if, you know, if you can't pass the fitness tests and if you can't carry the weaponry, then, um, you know, you wouldn't, you wouldn't be here doing the training in the first place. As the suspects make a run for it, Ahmet and the trainees seize their chance. Comes on! Go, go, go! But does Ahmet feel he's done enough to pass the course? It's really difficult to tell. Um, you know, you, you do the best you can do. I, I don't. I mean, there's always room for improvement. I mean, that's the thing. There, there is always room for improvement. All I can say is that I've, I've given it 100 percent. Back at the airport, the trainers deliberate. Tactically, it was poor and the weapon handling alone was probably sufficient for a, for a course failure. Didn't one of them lose his handgun and end up turning yeah. it along behind him uh, with the law? It wasn't secured. In isolation, that would have been a fail on it's, it's a fail on containment. The trainees wait to find out if they've got a new career. That's when you finish. Where you want to do that? It's a tense time for Ahmet. Something I've wanted for a long, long time. It's been a hard, hard slog, so uh, yeah, I'll be over the moon. Uh, and equally, the downside to that is if, you know, if, I, if I'm not competent, I, I don't get another go at it. So th this will be it for me. This is sort of last chance saloon. So if I don't get it, it's going to be heartbreaking. Just have to tell you what's happened. Uh, congratulations, you passed. Awesome. Very pleased with you. Okay. That's right. um, <laughs> really awesome. Yeah. Of the 12 trainees. Hello, my love. How are you doing? Nine pass. Good, I passed. Three fail. Went into the office and it was just a uh, straight unsuccessful. Massively disappointed though, because um, it's something that I really, really wanted to do. The last to discover his fate is Ahmed. Come in, sit down. Thank you. Uh, OK, Yang's explained to everyone that this isn't the place to be deliberating over the, de the decisions that have been made, OK? So um, get straight on with it. I'm pleased to say you've been successful. Congratulations, mate, you've passed. And I'm very pleased for you having been here. Thank well done. I'm really pleased with you, mate. Thanks really very pleased. Much. So, um, Cheers. Well, thanks, Nick. Cheers. Cheers. Well, Cheers. Well, Cheers. Well, Cheers. Well, you do need to be aware that this is the start of a long, hopefully long yeah. journey for you, but one that is filled with hard work yeah. all the time. So this is just the start. So well done, mate. I'm pleased. Well done. Cheers. Thank thanks you very, very much. much. Cheers, Cheers, mate. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah.
That means I'm an all price firearms officer at Gatwick Airport. That is amazing. That is absolutely amazing. Yeah, it's been a long, hard slog. I'm very emotional right now, so <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in there and uh, clean a weapon or two, I think. That's a relief, isn't it? Oh, God, yeah. Previously, passengers criticised waiting times at security more than anything else. Management wanted queues to come down so happier customers could spend more time shopping. One month after it opened, the new security area is going down well. It, it looks fantastic. I mean, um, it's all clean, tidy and all that, so that's a great improvement. But the old one was a bit of a nightmare to get through, so this was absolutely brilliant. It's extremely quick, so uh, I'm actually surprised that I have a lot of time on my plate now, so uh, it's all good. I'd fly through Gatwick again, yes, yes, thank you. Complaints have been halved, and 97% of passengers now get through screening in under five minutes. But Jeff Williams still finds himself having to justify security measures. Today, he's fighting his corner on BBC Radio. Thank you. Hello, Jeff Williams. We need to bear in mind that all of the measures that are currently in place have been brought in because of a specific threat. The difficulty is that the uh, technology needs to move quicker uh, to be able to counter these threats. Um, what the passenger, I guess, won't accept is, is lowering the, the threshold in terms of safety. So our challenge really is to make the process uh, just as safe, but more efficient and more passenger focused. Uh, I think the, the world moves on and security moves on, so there will always be this discussion and debate around what is the best way to protect people and, and what is a sensible level to set those measures at. Thanks to the joint efforts of Gatwick's 1600 security staff, the airport is as safe as it can be. The ultimate responsibility for the use of a firearm rests with the individual officer who is answerable to the courts. Are we all happy? Let's go then. I think, uh, obviously, in terms of international terrorism, um, the Al-Qaeda-inspired type of threat is always a risk. They're always going to be attractive targets. Um, but there are a lot of measures in place, so you could argue, actually, that at areas such as international airports there is more protection than many other crowded places and busy areas that you might go to. Whether we want them or not, the guardians of the airport are always there. Hi guys. See yeah, you yeah, take care. We're about. Just call me, alright, if you need me. You know, the thing that really drives us is seeing those aircraft take off from the runway uh, minute after minute, safely, Returning back safely, that's what the job's all about.